Hi, welcome back to my channel, Display of Color. I'm Scarlett, and today I'm going to do an inspired video by Blindsided Art by Nancy. We just want to give um, a little shout out to and support, and it will be in my description box below the link to this video um, that I was inspired on her channel. And I had some of the utensils she used. I unfortunately couldn't find the stencil that was a bigger circular stencil that uh, she uses in her video. So I just kind of want, you know, winged it and we're going to be doing bubbles um, with alcohol ink. And then I added a little element at the end, which is um, um, a mixed media King's Art, uh, the gel sticks. So I just went with primary colors, that'll be kind of fun. Um, I wanted to be vibrant, but I also wanted the blend of with the purple and the orange by using the primary. I'm using Ranger alcohol inks, and this is a lens cleaner for a camera, the utensil that I have, so um, that's what I'm using to blow my alcohol ink. I also don't have my normal heat gun tool, so I end up grabbing like a, uh, my craft tool, um, which doesn't blow, but it does dry. So just to speed up the process of the alcohol drying. Um, <laughs> so unfortunately, I did have a lot of things, but it was one of those moments where, you know, I do have a toddler, so I have to either art or edit or that's it. So while they're uh, asleep napping so um, I chose to art and whether I had all the tools or whatever I just made do with what I had and so there's it's just a ranger um, heat drying tool I use it a lot on, on watercolor on things I don't want it to blow because I want it to dry I just don't want it to push my color around so I'll use this it's I love it um, for specifically for that um, and since I didn't have the stencil, I am just going to use um, some alcohol to smear the edges a little bit. Um, but I'm just going to use um, my a towel and my finger a lot of the time um, to do this. So a cloth towel from, I believe the brand I use is Vivo which I love and again mainly because I use it, it or absorbs really really well and doesn't leave fibers in them for uh, my watercolor and I do have a dauber that's right I forgot I use the dauber as well to help with the circles so I'm just fading a little bit I'm wanting a little bit of a fade um, I did like the part where the purple and the red and the blue meet. It kind of reminded me of uh, a box. And if anyone's ever drawn like a 3D box, just the square shape of an outline of a 3D box, then you'll understand my meaning um, where that fade is in that bottom left corner, which is my upper right corner as I'm arting. Uh, so I didn't want to mess with that too much because um, I thought that was kind of cool. But I'm just going in a circular motion, uh, adding some alcohol to lightly remove some color. I don't want 100% the Yupo paper to go through. By the way, I am using Yupo paper. I think I forgot to mention, and it is heavy Yupo paper. And um, this is one of those little Pixis stick things. It's like kind of the concept of a Q-tip. <laughs> so... Just making circular motions and adding some alcohol onto the dauber and then I do that and then I use my finger. I'm just trying to round it and do a little highlight and see how well it works for the highlight because it's very thin. And this is all just experimentation. I definitely want to do this when I have all uh, the tools I can for this but it, I just kind of wanted to have fun and play and as anyone who has subscribed to my channel if you have not yet please do um, knows I literally anything I art um, if I have if I'm around to where I can hit the record button I do so um, words flaws and all experiments accidents 
intense, whatever it is of any kind of art, I put it on my channel. Anything I want to do, anything I'm inspired by by others' channels, um, you know, I want to try, I show it all. So um, you'll see what I do as I do it, if things work out, if they don't, if I, you know, th get those all home moments, we get them together. <laughs> but I just like to show anything and everything. Uh, so I know some channels like to, or artists like to do things on their channel a couple times or, or just show, you know, uh, a better product that they're happy with. Um, that's not my channel. I will show everything I do because I think all of it is great to see. And I like to see that when I learn how people, you know, achieve or arrive to their destination that they've gone, um, on whatever project they're doing. So I think that's uh, really neat to see. So this was kind of fun. I am I did watch the video once and um, part of me wished I had gone back to watch it right before I arted, which I always intend to do that, like to get a, a refresh on it. But half the time I don't, again, because it's just such a quick, uh, spur of the moment I have to hurry up and get what I can <laughs> to art and stuff so um, but at the same time it's also neat to just have it in my head what I do remember of it and then just go from there so I could really just kind of start to try to make it my own thing versus get frustrated that I can't make it in the exact same way that I saw an artist do something I was inspired by and want to achieve so that kind of frees me from, oh, it's not exactly how I have it in my mind, what it was for the most part, because <laughs> it still does, because there is in my mind like, oh, it looked like this, they did this, that I remember, and how did that, you know, form, and it's just okay to just do a lot of play and experimentation and, and just keep trying to, whether you want to achieve identical results or not with fluid art, nothing can be truly replicated or identical, but you know, you can get as close as you, you would like. So I, you know, was arting on this and I was thinking to myself, okay, this is pulling up. That's nice, but it's not really like it kind of had a 3d feel to it of a bubble, but it wasn't quite what I wanted. Um, so I just kind of keep pulling up to do the highlights, adding alcohol to the Pixi stick, and then dabbing it on that paper because I don't want it too, too strong. I don't want to like pull up too much and it to be, you know, an uncontrolled bleed uh, throughout the paper. So and I'm just going to add more alcohol right here. Uh, I am using 99% isopropyl alcohol and just fade those edges a little bit more. And I'm trying to drag it and bring it down a little bit out there just to create a little bit of depth on that side and that edge of, of that end of that bubble I'm trying to form and make a second one just to have a little bit of shadow there. So you'll see me add some more color some more of the blue. I am using blue um, as the aquamarine by Ranger. So again, I don't want it to be 100% back, or well, I don't ever think this, I think I've used alcohol ink stain on the Siva paper, but you can get it pretty white though, pulling forward. So I don't want that. I want it, I want the hue of the color below um, of the bubble to show, right? Because you can see through a bubble, so you would see color beneath it. But I don't want it so stark white of the paper that it's too translucent. 
looking because I want you to be able to see that there is a bubble there from a distance. <laughs> And I really liked the edge of the upper right corner, which is my bottom left of the way I'm arting. Um, I like uh, almost like a spill, the way it, it I was able to get it to roll out. Um, and I did want to mirror that if I could on where the blue is, but I didn't want to risk uh, not being able to do it and making a mess so I just kind of left it and was like I'll go to it um, at a different point in time if I felt the need um, mainly if I had my heat gun then I would but my wife was actually using it because uh, she was sanding something for me another piece I'm working on with resin I'm just, you know, slowly pulling up um, to make highlights on the bubble. And I'm sitting there thinking, like, mm, that's still not what I want. So I'm just going to add, I do have the stencil, and I'm just going to add a little bit. Um, I couldn't, like I said, I couldn't find the bigger one to do that had medium and large size circles. So I'm just using the smaller one that I have to just make little small added accents and I am every time I do clean that little um, utensil that I'm using off because I don't want it to bleed onto another area that um, isn't the same and you'll see in fact with the blue because I was like I think I touched the yellow and it didn't quite clean it good enough so that way I had to end up removing it after I just didn't want it green <laughs> and um, or even blue in the yellow part I really wanted that vibrant You do have to be careful because, like right there, I just end up turning into a bigger, um, if it's too thick, then it'll just spread underneath your stencil, the alcohol ink. It'll just kind of keep bleeding and fanning up. So, and you also want to make sure that there's not so much that it's on the underside. So when you go pick it up and you put it on a different place, that it'll transfer and reactivate on your paper, which my paper towel does at one point it kind of scratches against the Yupo paper and I mean it ends up being a cool effect so I was like whatevs but <laughs> but if you didn't want that that would really bother you know and it did go through my bubble so I did have to f adjust that part though I did have to fix that little bit I'm just doing little specks, little spots. And I don't know if I have it on this or not, but I did also do the um, alcohol. I added it to my little mister uh, spray that I uh, is meant for alcohol to be put into um, the paper. So it may or may not show that. So this is the King Art. It's a gel stick. It's a multimedia gel stick. It's a water soluble. So I know whatever I do here and pick up, it's not going to affect my alcohol ink. I don't need to seal it first and then do this so it doesn't affect it. It's only going to activate with water. So therefore my alcohol ink will be totally fine and stay. I just wanted to see one what these would do because I never had and thank you Kate to my subscriber Kate for sponsoring this video and gifting me with these uh, but I definitely wanted to try them out I do like to mix uh, water soluble with alcohol based uh, 
things because you can use them together and not have to worry about one react you know activating the other so um, it's really fun so I highly suggest doing stuff like that but I've never used them one and I've definitely never used on Yupo paper so there's the water I'm just happen to have some aquafina next to me <laughs> so I just put a little cap full of water and then I'm just rubbing it on my finger so it reactivates really easily it thins really easily and I was like oh okay and um, you do have to be mindful with the paper towel not to pick up too much um, not to put too much water down one on the Yupa paper because it's very very slick and two not to pull it up because when I put dipped the paper towel straight to the um, water and then on the paper it pretty much almost immediately rubbed it 100% off when barely touching it so I had to be really mindful of the amount of saturation of water I had on my paper towel ratio to the actual pigment of the gel stick against the Yupo paper but they were really really fun it's like an the gel stick is like a oil like a not oil, like a waxy kind of basically crayon but softer so um, yeah it's kind of between like a wax and a that's what I would say like a really soft a waxed crayon And for uh, ladies watching the channel, anybody who's used like a lipstick, it's a little bit, f a little bit firmer than a lipstick, but pretty much basically like that type of consistency. And if you hear that jingling, <laughs> it's one of my bangles deciding to visit. I really enjoyed using these um, again this was my first time using them so I kind of was like hmm let's experiment on everything um, I did want to use these um, on another textured piece that I'm working going to be working on so um, this was kind of neat to use them to see that like how easily they smear or how like heavy handed you need to be when you push on it which you definitely don't you want to be light handed as you're um, coloring because I mean like as you see it just it really just smears and, and presses really easily so they were really really cool um, I'm definitely gonna have a lot of fun with these and there's um, this set it comes with two where they're in their own little case like this and then another set of metallics so it's a really really neat um, gift and I really appreciate it so I had a lot of fun and it just kind of you know gave it that I was trying to give it that halo but again it was a balance between rubbing too too much it would just kind of disappear really easily so I was like eek um, on the Yupo uh, paper is very very slick so but it was really really fun and I really enjoyed testing them out and again blindsided art by Nancy she does some really really amazing things on her channel um, different mixed media stuff as well and she has a lot of interesting things she does with alcohol inks and um, I'm always inspired by her bright colors and just her love of play of, of that channel so if you want to go check her out again that video um, I will link in the description box below and um, support her it's my painted forward for 2020 it is blindsided art by Nancy and I'll have her uh, video linked that inspired this um, in the description box below. So if you can please also thumbs up this channel and 
like, you know, hit the thumbs up for to like it. Um, turn on your notifications to all notifications so that way and allow all your devices to allow the notifications to happen as well as please subscribe if you have not and support and leave a comment down below it really helps the channel so I'm just adding a little bit of color because I just want it to be a little bit more of a darker hue tone Basically, it's just like adding and lightly, you know, smearing and lightly removing the excess. And I was able to like get it um, thick enough on the paper towel of the waxy film to be able to dust the center a little bit. I just wanted a little bit darker of a hue um, just to help it pop and stand out a little more when I did the highlight. And so I'm just taking the white and retracing over where I already went and adding a little bit more smear to just give more highlight around the bubbles. So I, saw, I will um, show you the true uh, close-up as well as do um, some photo stills at the end. And I more than likely will uh, be using my UV archival spray, sealing this in, and then gluing it to a cradle board and resining on top of it. If I don't add anything else or change or mess with it later on and just want to keep it as is, then that's what I'm going to end up doing in the long run. I love how it looks like a cube coming out from behind that red, big red bubble. <laughs> like this circle in the square peg type thing. Alright everyone, I hope you've enjoyed. Happy outing and God bless.